Polka dancing and ballroom picnic lounger hall. Everybody polka, we're gonna have some fun. Everybody polka, it's done by everyone. Everybody polka, and dance your cares away. Everybody polka. Pleasant afternoon to you, and welcome to this very special edition of the Poker Video Show. Words cannot describe my emotions to be standing here the last day of Comiskey Park. We've got a special program for you this afternoon entitled Diamonds Aren't Forever. Comiskey Park has not just been a, a ballpark, but a, a gathering place for family, friends, and fans for over four generations. It's, it's a Chicago landmark, and you really can never say goodbye. The girders and the concrete are going to be coming down soon. But when the dust has settled, the old Comiskey Park will still be in our hearts and our minds. I hope you're going to enjoy this afternoon's program here, entitled Diamonds Aren't Forever, the final day at Comiskey Park. Stay with us. We'll be right back. the many thousands of satisfied van and truck owners who have been taking advantage of Chicagoland's largest inventory of van and truck ladder racks, locks, shelf units, and part bins. It's Keystone Supply, located at 4600 West Lawrence Avenue in Chicago. Let the experts at Keystone select a custom van or truck package designed to meet your needs and to fit your budget. For complete van and truck conversions, call the professionals at Keystone at 202-2680. Keystone, 4600 West Lawrence Avenue in Chicago. Everybody polka aboard the TSS celebration as Eddie Blazoinching and his Versatone set sail for their annual seven-day fall polka cruise October 20th through the 27th. Your ports of fall include San Juan, St. Thomas, St. Martin, all in the Virgin Islands. Complete fly cruise rates are just $11.35 per person and everything's included. Round-trip airfare, transfers, outside deck staterooms, all your meals, exciting casino, star-studded shows and cocktail parties, and live music with Eddie Blazoinching and his Versatones. A wide variety of shipboard activities plus many extras. Everybody polka with Eddie Blazoinchik's Versatones aboard the TSS Celebration this October 20th through the 27th. For reservations and information, contact Beller Enterprises by calling area code 708-594-5182. 708-594-5182. Polka aboard the TSS Celebration with Eddie Blazoinchik and his Versatones October 20th through the 27th. Mr. Kamiski, as you stand here this afternoon, your grandfather built this ballpark. What's racing through your mind right now? I think the lady has served us well for 80 years, and I'm very proud of her. And I think everybody that's going to be here today, and it was here last night and Friday and Thursday, 
felt the same way. We know we have a lot of fond memories of this ballpark, but uh, she deserves a rest in this new ballpark across the street. It's going to be just absolutely beautiful. And I hope it serves us 80 years as well as this one did. Do you say, do I have any regrets? <laughs> you have to make those decisions at the time with the facts you have at hand. If I look back today, I would rather, rather still be in baseball. has got you beat, just go down to 35th Street for a White Sox game. Some may praise Toronto's Blue Jays, Boston Red Sox, or the Oakland A's, they're just not the same. There is a spirit here in every White Sox fan. They celebrate as no other city can. Only White Sox fans can be. Laughing and cheering on their team to victory. Jeff, as you're going to be pacing up and down in the dugout, I'm sure you will be this afternoon. What's going to be going through your mind? Well, I want to win a game. Uh, if I'm pacing, it's because I want to win a game. I know there's a great deal of uh, emotion, tradition involved in this ballpark. Uh, and we've been talking about it and thinking about it and being covered and everything that could possibly be written or said about it has been said since opening day. Now we're at that day kind of numb right now. But we've had a heck of a year. We'll still come up second. We've got a lot of work to do to catch Oakland. But um, it's been a wonderful season in the sense that the fans have responded to us and, and we have given them a product to, to make them want to come out. Um, and all the wonderful memories that people have of this ballpark uh, will probably be hashed and rehashed. Um, so my feeling is sitting in the standing in this dugout, I would love to get a win out of this today. What's the most memorable thing that has happened in your career here at Comiskey Park? Well, it'd be tough for me to pick one thing out. I think it would be a collection of a lot of memories. It would be this season. It would be the many times we came from behind to win here. We've won 48 games here this year. I think we won 15 of them in our last at bat here. Uh, with somebody stepping on home plate in the bottom of the ninth, that's exciting. Um, the no-hitter that we won here is something that stands out in your mind, and so many uh, beautiful individual um, emotions that are involved as well. You know, we've got a bunch of kids here that want to win so badly and have proven it. 92 wins out of a club that doesn't stand in the top of statistics in the league in, in very many categories. I'll tell you, it's been a heck of a team effort. So to me, it's, it's something special. It's family. 
Uh, I'm really a family-oriented person, but these guys, I'm so proud of them. I just would like to hug all of them. What Bobby Thickpen has accomplished is amazing. But Bobby wants to share that with the rest of the team, and the rest of the team feels like they're part of it. Ozzie Gian's play at shortstop is just special. Carlton Fisk on the way to the Hall of Fame doing all that he does day in and day out. Unsung guys, you know, guys that don't get the credit as much as other guys. Uh, Ivan Calderon's a man on a mission. Uh, what um, Scott Fletcher has done at second base, a consummate pro. Nobody says anything about what stability gives. Lance Johnson, Sammy Sosa, Frank Thomas coming up, a big impact guy for many years to be around here. Um, Ron Karkovice coming of age, not to mention the young pitching staff that's done such a great job. I mean, this has been a, a special year. Goodbye, sweetheart, goodbye forever. Pekka O transfers U.S. dollars to interest-bearing accounts in Poland through orders placed in the United States. Accounts in Poland bear a competitively high interest rate. Pekka O also delivers U.S. dollars to named individuals in Poland and can also guarantee the transfer of dollars from an account in Poland to your account here in the United States. Information is gladly given and transfer orders accepted by all authorized Pekka O dealers and by the Pekka O Trading Corporation. Located in Chicago at 333 North Michigan Avenue or call Pekka O at 782-3933. Well, Eddie, it's come down to the final minutes before the players take the field. What's going through your mind right now? Oh, a lot of excitement. I couldn't sleep last night. I woke up about 5, and I'm just filled with uh, the elation of the end and the beginning. I believe in that, and uh, I like to think of it as as soon as this game's over, I can walk. 10 steps and I'm at the start of the next 50 years so that's the way I feel today when you when you bought the team uh, of course you were here as a vendor in the that's late right. 50s uh, 59 I was right over there selling hot dogs did you ever dream that you would be the owner of the White Sox oh no it never it never occurred to me uh, but it was exciting to get involved in baseball and uh, complete 10 years Jerry just reminded me we're only about two games over five 500 for the 10 years, which I'm not that proud of, but uh, believe it or not, that's the winningest percentage of any White Sox ownership. So I guess uh, we've started something, and now I hope we can improve on it in the next 10 years. When you go across the street and you look at that beautiful building, you just have to be elated to know that you two guys pulled it off and all the controversy that surrounded the building of that new park. What are your feelings about that? Well, it wasn't fun, I'll tell you that, but I always say to the fans, and I've been saying this all day and I'll say it again, I hope they understand that uh, we did some things we didn't want to do. But unless we did them, we wouldn't be here in this situation today because you sometimes have to do some things you don't want to do to get something done. But we got it done. And if we remembered for nothing else in our ownership, it will be the ownership that got a new stadium for White Sox baseball in Chicago. Governor? Yeah. What are you doing on the south side? I thought you are a diehard Cub fan. I am a diehard Cub fan. But uh, I've got a little building going up next door, so uh, I wanted to come and check its progress. And I wanted to be part of Chicago history. This is part of Chicago history. We're saying goodbye to a great old ballpark that's outlived its usefulness and saying hello to uh, what is going to be the best new ballpark in the world. So Chicago fans can have it both ways. You're here with your mom and your wife and your children. What's going through your mind right now? I'm sure you came here many times with your dad. I think there are so many good memories of Sox Park because it was my father, my mother, and my brothers and sisters and everybody over the years. Uh, and uh, it was just a uh, real friendly park. The friends were great as well as the ball players. It was like a, uh, there's always uh, a real feeling between the, the fans and the, and the uh, ball players each year. Are you happy that they're going to stay across the street? Oh yeah, I think everybody is. They'll bring the same memories and uh, the same things that parents and families did over the years. They'll do at the new ballpark. Great American pastime, baseball. It gives you time with your family. It slows down a lot of life. Get out here and enjoy a day game or a night game. It is a great thing for families. What about the fans? Oh, the White Sox fans have always been good fans in the sense that... Uh, a politician friend of yours on the other side that might disagree with with you. Well, I know. I said, you know, I'm a Chicago fan, but I'm really, a, I mean, a Sox fan. Wonder why 
It's time for saying goodbye Saying goodbye Why is it sad? It makes us remember The good times we've had Much more to see Foolish to try It's time for saying Polish Airlines, now more than ever, the recognized leader in travel to Poland. Mini, May 1st, 1951, 39 years later, still at your home here. What yes. are your feelings as you look out over the field this afternoon? Well, I don't bring me a beautiful memories because you never forget nothing that you have been living before. Even when it was wrong, you remembered. But a uh, good thing like it happened to me here, how can I forget? Because of my baseball career to start here in Comiskey Park, and I closed in 1964 here, and I came back again in 1976. I was active again. How do you feel about not being reactivated today? Well, you can imagine, but uh, like a profession, uh, like a good gentleman, I set the decision for another gentleman. I don't say anything against him. Uh, he makes a decision. Every man or every gentleman, when they have a kind of position, they make a decision. And you have to accept it. In this particular case, I accept it like a man, and I still keep it doing it. What I do it for the kid and for baseball. There's so many memories, I'm sure, in your, in your, in your mind about Comiskey Park. And what, what, what one thing, maybe, real quickly, as you, as you look over the, the ball field this afternoon, comes to mind? Well, I don't know. I just come away, I think, maybe by the same time as now. And when I first started in Comiskey Park, don't forget, I was uh, the first in the big league black ball player who played for the organization. And I was the first one who played, the first black who played here in Comiskey Park. And I was the first black who hit a first home run here in the open day, uh, I mean, and, 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 and my first time I stepped in the play here in Comiskey Park. If you remember, what more can you think that I have it better than that? I think I'm gonna write a book. After the year or so, I might write a book in my life. And in the book, I can say anything I want. So, but our way, respect the baseball. Respect everyone who played the game. Respect them since they're located in Baby Ruth, and after that, a little bit below to my decade. And now, this decade, I love it and I respect it because they have a beautiful uh, people who play and beautiful professional ball players who know how to play this game and do this game for the fans. And everyone who do this thing for the fans, I'm with it because of the fans, those people, they're the owner of the whole show. No, they own the team. The people was the owner of the show. A gentleman who's synonymous with the White Sox and baseball and your honorary team captain here for the last game at Comiskey Park, Mr. Minnie Minoso. Thank you. You're very welcome. We're talking to the Pope, Don Paul, a relief pitcher for the Chicago White Sox. Don, you're a local boy. Used to come here, I'm sure, many afternoons, many evenings. Yeah. As things come to a close here, as the clock winds down, what's going through your mind? Well, just trying to relish some of the memories that I had out here uh, growing up. I know I've had a lot more memories than anybody else on this ball club because I've had the fan perspective, which nobody else has really had. So I've had ideas from both sides, really on the field and off the field. So there's, there's a lot of things that I've seen and done out here that nobody else has. Did you ever guess that one day you'd be on this side rather than on that side? You know, I never really thought so. Just sitting on this side of the fence, you thought you had to be some kind of superstar or god to make it in the major leagues. And now that I'm here, I know that's not the case because I'm here. I'm just an ordinary guy, really. But, uh, you know, I really didn't think it ever really happened and I'm just happy as anything and cherish all the moments I have out here. Any special fun memories? Well, I can remember a few games, uh, Disco Demolition, which I was out here for. That was a good time. That was an experience. I was out here for a couple of concerts. Uh, All-Star game, grade three All-Star game, sitting in the Bob Euchre seats way up in the corner. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of the games that came out, sneaking in the golden boxes and sitting in the outfield and the upper decks and all. And it was just a great time. I'd just really be sorry to see it go. 
uh, across the street, your new home. Any uh, predictions for the future next season? Yeah, I hope it only gets better. You know, we've put together a great team this year. Uh, a little more speed and defense. But the big thing for this year was everybody was injury free. Last year we lost a lot of guy, key guys to injuries, and that killed us. This year everybody was healthy, and uh, everybody played the way they should be playing after their potential. And we can keep doing that with a little more experience that we've had this year. Next year can only be better. Maybe the Pope should have prayed a little more this year, huh? <laughs> a little bit, I'll tell you what, but finishing the way we are now is a miracle uh, yeah, in no itself. Reason to hang your head at all. It's a miracle in itself that we've done what, we've, what we have done, at least according to a lot of people. A lot of people thought we'd be battling for sixth place instead of first place, so it appears to be a miracle that's happened here, and it's just been great to have a great season, especially to have all the fans come out for it. If we had a season like last year, we might have had some bad crowds all year, and it makes such a big difference. I mean, last year when it was, it was empty, you're almost looking forward to the new park. It was empty and cavernous out here. And, and now that when you have all these people out here, it's a lot of electricity going, and you're like, man, it's really going to miss this place. Yeah, this is great. Don, thanks. Continued success to you. Thanks. And we'll be right back with more of our special show, Diamonds Aren't Forever, right here on the Polka Video Show, right after these announcements. Wonderful memories we shared together. To remember year after year Wonderful memories we share together Things to remember ETC, Ethnic Television Chicago, presents our second annual benefit for Catholic Charities and a Church Federation. It's Santa's Holiday Review on Sunday, December the 9th at the beautiful Polonia Banquet Hall, 4604 South Archer Avenue. Featuring direct from the WGN Bozo Show, Wizzo, the world's wackiest wizard, along with Santa Claus, Chet Kowalkowski and his Polish carolers, and Jerry Zahara's Happy Stars, plus guest celebrities. The doors will open at 12 noon, dinner at 1, show at 2.30, music and dancing from 4 to 8 p.m. Tickets are now available. Children 12 and under, only $10. Adults, only $12. For tickets and information, contact either Polonia Banquets at 523-7980, ETC at 775-9595, or Bella Enterprises at area code 708-594-5182. It's ETC second annual Santa's Holiday Review on Sunday, December 9th at Polonia to benefit Chicago's needy children. <laughs> Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the happy man here at Comiskey Park, Andy the Clown, for the past 30 years. Andy, some reflections. Well, I'm going to miss the park. Most of all, I'm going to miss the fans, because without the fans, I couldn't have been here. And the worst thing of all that I'm missing is my wife ain't here to see it. You're going to be across the street, aren't you? Well, I'm coming across, but they don't want me with the outfit. Why? You're a tradition in Chicago. Well, you, you tell that to them. But I love it. I, I, I wanted to be there for opening day, and they more or less didn't want me to do it. What so. about the fans, Andy? Oh, the fans are fantastic. If you'd like to take a shot, I'll go down there and I'll give you a cheer. Okay. And these fans will tell you what I, what it's all about. Okay, Andy. Yeah, go right wait, ahead. wait till I go down. Okay. tradition here on 35th and Shields is uh, the great organist of Nancy Faust who's been here for the 21st season. Some reflections, Nance. Oh, I've got a lot of thoughts about the last 21 years, and I guess what stands out most would be, um, well, I'm sure if I look back, this year will stand out very much, but also the uh, Bill Beck days and uh, Richie Allen and having played here for the All-Star Game and um, the night that everybody sang along with Na Na Hey Hey Goodbye. Nance, what has given you the most pleasure of being out here? I mean, you're, other organists and other ballparks are enclosed. You're right here, out here where all the action is. That's probably why I love this job so much. It is the mingling with all these people and having gotten to know some of them so well that they're like an extended family. What are you going to miss most about uh, Comiskey Park? 
Uh, just the setup, just the way it is. It will never be like this again. And I'm sure it will be wonderful over there, but it's hard to capture when it's taken so many years to develop. You're going to have the same kind of setup across the street? It will be similar because I'll be out. Ventura Highway. <laughs> In case you didn't recognize it. A very familiar face, a tradition, every White Sox game. Nancy, continued success and thank oh, you. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Yeah. Now it's time to say it's over. It's time to say goodbye. Yes, it's time to say it's over. Pekka O delivers in Poland on orders placed in the United States a wide variety of food parcels. Particularly needed in Poland are the multiple item parcels containing, among other things, sausages, vegetable oil, sweets, coffee, and citrus fruits. Information and price lists are gladly given and orders accepted by all authorized Pekka O dealers and by the Pekka O Trading Corporation. Located in Chicago at 333 North Michigan Avenue or call Pekka O in Chicago at 782-3933. Now it's time to hang up the gloves, stack the bats, and dim the stadium lights, and echo the chant of your faithful na 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 hey hey goodbye. It ain't over till it's over, this time it's over. And uh, there used to be a ballpark where the field was warm and green. And uh, the people played their crazy game with a joy I had never seen. And uh, the air was such a wonder from the hot dogs and the beer. Yes, there used to be a ballpark right here. Rock candy and a great big fourth of July with the fireworks exploding all across the summer sky and the people watched in wonder. A ballpark right here. Now the children try to find it, and they can't believe their eyes, cause the old team just isn't playing, and the new team tries and the sky has got so cloudy when it used to be so clear and the summer went so quickly this year Yes, there used to be a ballpark right The preceding program was a production of ETC. 